Hey guys, my name is Zach and this is CG Fistbomb. I am here right now at the city of Pines, Baguio City, which is about 154 miles north of Metro Manila. During this 5-day vacation, I brought a couple of my travel tech essentials, which I'll be showing to you in this vlog. But first, roll the intro. By the way guys, in case you're interested in getting any of these things, I'll try to place the links of where to buy these in the description. Now onto the video, which I'll be doing from my Airbnb. Okay, so first off, I'm sure everyone brings a phone for communication, media consumption, and for most people, capturing photos or videos of their travel. I do have two phones with me. One is the iPhone 13 Pro, which is my main device for capturing videos in my YouTube channel, this video included. Yes guys, you don't necessarily need to have a dedicated camera or GoPro to vlog. Your camera phone can already be enough. iPhones in particular have really good cameras and you can shoot videos up to 4K 60fps. For me though, I usually just shoot at 4K 30 or 1080p 60. I also carry around an Android phone which is my work phone. This is the 2020 Xiaomi Mi 10T. So this is where work-related communications come in. So I still carry it in case something comes up during vacation. Now, despite being over 2 years old, this phone is still really capable, having a Snapdragon 865 processor. It's still really strong and it can run current games as well as emulators of the Nintendo 3DS, the PS2, and many more. Now, I also have a gimbal slash selfie stick slash tripod in one, the Moza Nano SE. This is a very convenient device that lets you take stable videos with your phone through its gimbal function as well as wider selfies because it stretches out to this long. It's also a tripod so you can put it down and you can just use the included Bluetooth remote to capture photos even from away the phone. It charges via USB-C. If you're into vlogging, having a good sound in your videos is essential as well. I use a Boya BY-WM32D2 as my external microphone. A receiver is connected to the lightning port of my iPhone while you get two transmitters or microphones which you can clip to your clothes like a lapel. So these microphones work up to a distance of 50 meters away from the receiver. Now to keep myself or my companions amused, I also have my Nintendo Switch which is a perfect portable video game console. You can play video game console quality games on the go like Crisis Core Reunion, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Bayonetta 3, Sonic Frontiers, Super Smash Bros., NBA 2K23, and many more. You can also share the Joy-Cons for some multiplayer action. Now this one is a version 1 Nintendo Switch which I had since December 2017. Despite being older than the V2, the Switch Lite, or the OLED versions, the version 1 can still play all the games more recent Switches can play. The V1 just has a shorter battery life at 2.5 to 6.5 hours instead of the V2's 4.5 to 9 hours. Now, in case I would need to do some work, respond to emails, or edit some videos, I also brought my 14-inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. Now, I got this pretty recently and I find it much lighter than my bulkier MSI gaming laptop. Carrying it on my backpack is easier even if I bring it along while touring around and battery life is also long-lasting compared to any Windows laptop. The MacBook Pro 14 has a listed battery life of 11 hours when it comes to wireless web browsing and up to 17 hours of video playback. I think I haven't really reached 11 hours, perhaps due to the tasks I do on it like video editing, but it's enough to last me several hours while I'm outside. I also have this Logitech MX Master 3 for more precision. Now what I like about this mouse is that it has both vertical and horizontal scroll wheels. Now my MacBook Pro is placed inside this moth laptop carry sleeve which also acts as a laptop stand that has two viewing angles. It has 15 degrees and 25 degrees. Now if I don't want to disturb others when consuming content, I also have my AirPods Pro 2. Now these earphones are just perfect when it comes to blocking out ambient noise. It's my very first earphones with noise cancelling and it syncs and switches easily between my iPhone and MacBook Pro. It's a really good pair of earphones if you have Apple devices. 
I also carry around a power bank if I need to charge outside. This one is a 20,000 mAh power bank by Babin and the good thing about this is you don't have to carry extra wires when outside because it already has a commonly used wires built in. It has micro USB and USB-C, a lightning wire, as well as MagSafe charging. Now when I get back to the Airbnb to charge all these devices, I have these 100 watt and 65 watt power bricks from Ugreen. Both of these have three USB-C ports as well as a USB-A port. It can deliver enough wattage to devices that support fast charging and it just takes one or two wall outlets to charge several devices. Personally, I have only used just one during this trip, charging my iPhone, Android, Nintendo Switch, and Apple Watch. Of course, since we're already in the topic of charging, I also have the different cables for my devices. So I have two USB-C to USB-C for my Android and Switch, a USB-C to Lightning for my iPhone, a USB-C to MagSafe 3 for my MacBook, and my USB-C to Apple Watch for my Apple Watch and AirPods Pro 2. All these wires and power brakes go inside my Ugreen Travel Organizer storage bag which of course is here to keep these smaller accessories organized in my bag. So these are all my tech stuff that I have in my bag. Now about my tech bag, it's, this one is pretty low profile. It's by HiShera and I got it as a giveaway from my office. Nothing much to say about it, it's just a functional backpack. And I guess that's about it. If you found this video informational, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and hit on that notification bell for more tech-related videos just like this. Again, my name is Zach and this is GG Fistbump.